right, Sean Zatel, FightHype.com, here with the first ever Mexican heavyweight champion of the world, Andy the Destroyer Ruiz. How you doing, Andy? I'm feeling good, man. You know what? We came back from, from San Diego over here to Vegas, and I have a house here, so every time I come out here, we're training at Capatillo's Gym, where my legacy started, you know? Oh, it started here? Yeah, oh. well, not from the beginning, but this is where everything changed and where I was more focused. Where you became the level at, that became exactly. a champion? Mm -hmm. So you have a Vanessa uh, Guillen shirt today. Is there anything yeah. you want to say about that, Andy? Well, they just buried her today, you know, so we just wanted to give out our condolences and uh, just want to let them know that she's never forgotten. You know, there's a, there's a lot of murdering happening right now and a lot of people are not hearing about it. So we want to keep her in our prayers and in our hearts. Yeah, it definitely seems like her death affected a lot of Mexican and, and Mexican-American people, and they took it to heart quite a bit. They did, you know, because they didn't really know what was happening. They weren't telling us what was happening, not to their family, not to their moms, you know. So from a person that has kids, uh, you, you feel that effect, you know. You, you start thinking like, man, what if it was my daughter, what if it was my son? So you start thinking like that. Uh, Andy, one thing I wanted to talk to you about is how were you able to be so good in exchanges? Uh, a lot of fighters today, or not not even today, just a lot of fighters, they um, they just play defensive when the shots come. They don't like to punch when the other guy's punching. So what's the secret to what makes you so I good at that? I think the counter punching, you know, like me being fast, thank God that he gave me this ability and, and strength, you know, because a lot of people, they see me, they're like, oh, that kid's not fast. He, he doesn't move good or, or he don't hit hard, but... Um, just the abilities that I have, you know, and the people that I have around me that are showing me a lot of stuff, you know. So I think it's the combinations and the speed and the counter punch because I'm a counter puncher and I could be aggressive as well, but I think I'm a counter puncher in both ways. Are you your aggressive counter puncher, yeah, right? Counter -puncher. Uh, Canelo does that. Yeah. Uh, and you're training with the Reynoso, so right? Yeah, so we're, we're teaming up and we're going to have a few fights together. So I think that's going to be a good step moving over there um, to be more disciplined, to be around champions, to be in that champion mentality, you know? So things going to work good for me. You know, we're in the lockdown and everything. Have you had a chance to, to get in camp with, with the Reynosos yet? And no, actually, they're in Mexico right now. So I think everybody is doing the social distancing and the COVID-19. but. We're just trying to stay busy, you know, trying to stay busy, shock the world again. And and um, I'm doing a documentary. I'm doing my YouTube channel. So just want everybody to tune in on that. There's going to be the transformation of me being um, big and fat, how I was, to being in shape and looking good and ready to fight. Are you? How much do you probably weigh right now? Right, I don't want to say anything okay. right now. But <laughs> just know that we are losing it. We're dropping it. And we're just ready to shock the world again. You know, it was thought that guys your size, um, they couldn't get to be the champion anymore with guys 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, in today's heavyweight division. How were you able to make it happen at your size? Like I said, God's gift that, I, that he gave me, you know, being fast, moving around, um, being first. But I think the speed is the, the key of my my advantage, you know, the, the, the speed, the not just throwing, like how you're saying, not just throwing one, two punches. I got to throw three, four, five punches to get at that, that range, you know, because I'm fighting, fighting tall fighters, so I have to be on point. Do you think that, um, in a way, you proved that Tyson and Holyfield and those guys, they would have been able to, to compete today and, and maybe... Oh, yeah, yeah, they would have competed today and they <laughs> probably would have been the, the same as they were back in the day, you know, and... That's what we need to bring now, you know, like the old school fighters that they were before and do it now. So I'm trying to have that style as well, like a Mike Tyson, Mexican Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs>